Hi, I'm Heather, professional makeup artist here with Luminesque, and I'm gonna show you some tricks on spraying under the eyes where it won't enhance wrinkles and crinkles. So when airbrushing, you always wanna leave your breeze level when you're doing the face. But when you get to under the eyes, let's tilt it down just a little bit and look up. Start making your movements lightly back and forth, and you can even come in a little closer, but I don't want you to pull back on the trigger until you're making your movements. And then you can lightly, lightly pull back on that trigger. And as soon as you feel that makeup, you are moving down. Remember, you're not going to be in one spot twice, but there is overlap. So to also get your coverage, you can start on one eye, then go to the other one, and then back for another pass until you get that coverage that you want. For some reason, if you sprayed a little hard and it enhanced the wrinkles and crinkle, I want you to remember one thing, tap it out. You can use your ring finger or a blotter and just tap that out until it goes away and then you can go and reapply doing those steps. So, so keep in mind, when airbrushing under the eyes, you want to angle the stylus down and look up. You can come in a little closer, make your movements, and then start lightly pulling back on that trigger. As soon as you feel the makeup, move that breeze down. You will perfect it in no time, looking amazing with your breeze airbrush.